Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for um, clicking on it. <laughs> Today we are going to be reviewing the December BoxyCharm. I know I have two BoxyCharm episodes <laughs> videos in a row, but um, they gave it to us early this month. I wasn't able to review the two of the things, the lip gloss and the mask, considering I'm not wearing the lip gloss today because I have to go to work and I just don't like how it would have looked. And um, the mask, because it's a skincare product and I feel like the best skincare reviews are whenever you sit on the products and you really get to see how they work on your skin and if there is any progress. So I'll definitely get back to you on those two products in a future video because frankly the lip gloss looks and smells amazing. So I want to use it as soon as possible. So without further ado, you guys, um, go ahead and keep on watching to see me uh, listen to music as I put on makeup and occasionally talk about it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we have is this mask. Yeah. So the description on the BoxyCharm uh, little little paper, it says, Tis, <laughs> it says, Tis the sea sun. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's December, and there's like a little Santa hat on a flamingo. It's cute. It is by Cosmetics. It's the Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. Detoxify your pores from daily grime with Cosmetics Activated Charcoal Mask. This big word, I don't even, diatomaceous earth visibly uh, improves the brightness of your skin while activated charcoal and ka kaolin clay draw dirt and impurities from your pores. Retails for $30. So the directions on the actual mask say detox, ooh, PM. Ooh. So I'm guessing you're supposed to put this on at night, but it is currently 2.46 and I'm on my way to work here soon. So I did not follow the directions <laughs> right away. But what's the worst that could happen? I mean, from now on, I'm probably gonna use this at night, but apply a generous amount to clean damp skin, massage into skin using circular motion. Leave on skin for 10 to 15 minutes and then gently rinse with warm water and pat dry. Follow with serums moist and moisturizer. Can be used up to three times a week. It's drying up, so I'll probably take it off in a couple minutes. It's been around 10 minutes. Everybody enjoy my elf shirt. It's my go-to t-shirt. My go-to bum t-shirt. I guess my first impression of this mask would be that whenever I was putting it on, as I was putting it on my hands, it felt very moussey. But as I was putting it on my skin, I felt, it felt grainy. Uh, but not like a microdermabrasion exfoliator. It's hard to explain, but it was less suspended, right? Is that the right chemistry term? I'm just going to say that the grain, the coarse grain was very scarce do with that information um as you will <laughs> um it says put a generous amount i don't know if this is generous enough no i'm not really one to go overboard with peanut butter and jelly so i'm not surprised if i didn't um do enough or i did just enough who knows anyway um be back in a second but it's not like you're gonna be waiting for me i'm literally just going to edit the video see you in a flash Alright guys, we are back on track. And the next bit of makeup that we're going to be using has nothing to do with um, foundation or prep. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my normal routine. <laughs> guys, I'm almost out. I'm oh, just wiping my tears with cooling water. <laughs> Very smooth after that mask. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you guys and say, oh, my skin feels amazing after one use. Uh, with skincare, you really can't give that great of a review, um, especially after using it once because not only are people's skin going to react differently to different products but you're not gonna find out right away or my first impression of this was pretty much my skin feels soft after um dry so which is normal for charcoal masks definitely moisturize afterwards of course that's a given i mean so far it seems like it could be it has potential to be good but we won't know for certain and i can't give you a uh, progress report yet you know life's a bunch of trial and error you know i feel like that's something john mulaney would say does anybody know if mid 90s came out yet i feel like it did and i feel like it's probably not gonna show up on me dude if a24 makes another movie that i have to go see i'm gonna be pissed i don't have time <laughs> so now that we have some spoof on our face some spf some uh sunscreen uh, I don't like this foundation, so I'm going to not only not show it, but I'm not going to talk about it. Ooh, my tummy's a growling. I 
didn't think I was hungry, but she's talking to me. <laughs> now I'm just using my trusty Smith 115 brush to buff that in. So far, uh, my foundation looks like it's on my face really nicely because I feel like the texture on my skin was kind of diminished from that uh, mask. Down the neck. I need music. Oh. Mama forgot to wet her beauty blender, so I'll be right back. So I just went off camera and did my eyebrows and a little bit of concealer. I'm going to read the description for the next product before my concealer creases. We have the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Translucent Setting Powder in Matte About It. Cute. Um, this weightless skin smoothing translucent setting powder locks your makeup into place while enhancing the look of your foundation. The soft puff applicator delivers the right amount of powder, blurring and filling fine lines and minimizing the appearance of pores. This specifically formulated powder absorbs excess oil and redness shine, reduces shine, leaving behind a soft matte finish. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a very old school powder, um, like I'm gonna say like the 50s or 40s uh, powder compact. Ooh. And then this cute ass motherfucking puff. Love it, I'm here for it. I'm probably gonna use it just to feel cute. But for practical reasons, I'm going to be using my beauty blender. So I'm going to take that and put it over here. I'm going to put the powder onto the lid. And yeah, so that creased. So I'm just going to blend a little more. Um, and I'm going to take my beauty blender and go, go for it. I need a smaller mirror to see what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just going to powder my whole nose because that shit gets oily quick. <laughs> I don't really care to highlight or contour it today, so I'm going ahead and setting my whole face using the puff that comes with the product because I feel like being cute. On my thing on camera, you can see that it's turning me matte very quickly, um, which is cool. I used a heavy moisturizer, so this is probably for the better. Right away, I yeah, I liked the powder, so this is this is a good one. This is probably going to be like a nine out of ten for me. So oh, no real problems with it. I can tell that my skin still looks textured, but that's on me. That's on me and my lack of skin routine. So, 9 out of 10. This probably has an estimated 9 out of 10. Monday. Monday. Pop, what? Good, I'm filming. The next order of business is the Prestige Palette by Suva Beauty. The description says... Suva Beauty's new Prestige Palette is a versatile, warm, and cool-toned palette featuring six highly pigmented shimmer and matte shadows and two brilliant highlighters, which is true because I did use this palette already and I can vouch for that. It has two highlighters, <laughs> more or cool and warm tones. I used the middle top three, so I think for the sake of the review... I'm going to try to mix these rows, and of course I'm going to use the um, highlighters. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighters right now. I'm going to use the gold highlighter, which is um, ooh, right over here. It is Era. You guys are definitely going to want to use a very light hand with these highlighters. So I'm going in with Aesthetic with this Wet n Wild, ooh, no name, uh, fluffy brush, very cheap, very nice, very nice fluffy blending brush. But anyway, I'm going to take that into the outer portions of my eye, I'm blending that into my crease. I did not set my eye, my concealer. Um, I've been noticing that it's a lot easier to place color and blend out whenever it's not set. So that's just my little tip for the day. So I'm taking the one of the another brush that was in the last video by Luxie, the mini tapered one to one brush. Alright, 
so I'm just taking aesthetic on my lower lash line as one does. So yeah, I pretty much just used um, aesthetic so far, just that I've just been slowly, gradually going in, blending, adding more color, blending. And that's the best th uh, strategy you can use for only using one color, and especially if it's this dark. Just with that technique, I was able to build a blend without getting it too dark. I mean, I'm, it's at the degree that I want it to be. Now I'm going in with uh, Balance which is this kind of copper looking color. I'm gonna be taking that right about in the center of my lid, blending outward and blending inward, but keeping that focus on the center of the lid. And the reason I chose not to use a transition color for this palette is because I, if I can use one palette for a look and not need to branch out to another color, I think that palette definitely gets some points. So I'm capable of doing that with this palette. Of course, it's not, very easy so there is a challenge because there aren't any real transition shades so it is a bit of a challenge to only use one palette sometimes but i like a challenge back to this uh we're gonna take era again but on my inner corner and blend inward okay there we are so that's it for the eyes i'm just gonna skip around and then i'll do the rest off camera uh, i'm gonna be using the Bodyography Lip Liner. This vegan and cruelty-free Bodyography Lip Pencil is antioxidant rich, infused with coconut oil and vitamin E. The smooth yet long-wearing formula glides on effortlessly. There's that word again. Uh, delivering durable pigment that can frame, fill in, and define lips. Retails for $12. By the way, this Prestige Suva Beauty uh, palette Retails for $34. Honestly, I do use Suva Beauty for their Hydra liners. I love the brand. I don't have any of their eyeshadows, I believe, besides this now. Um, I'm noticing that the shimmers are very chunky. Like, the highlighter has a chunky highlight. It's not necessarily like a sheen. The shimmers for the eyes are very nice. They have a little bit of chunk to them, especially the, um, yeah, balance and structure have a little bit of a chunk to them, which is nice. It's a nice effect. When I'm using it today to day and not as a review, I'll probably have to reach for a transition shade considering there's a lack of them here. I do like the concept of this. Um, beautiful. I'm just gonna use this lip pencil now. Focus. Yeah, I don't like how pink this is on my lips. I'm gonna go get Bows and Arrow by Kat Von D and I'll be right back. All right, I take it back. I'm just gonna go in with Lolita by Kat Von D. Um, I feel like this shade is somewhere in my eyes. I almost forgot the Tarte Lip Shimmering Lip Paint. We'll see how it is if it fucking opens. What is this? Glitter? Gloss? Oh, it smells kind of delightful. Hmm. The description on this is the Tarte Glitter Lip Paint. This sheer lip gloss is infused with shimmering glitter and delivers luscious, multi-dimensional, and high shy finish. The reflective glitter gloss can stand alone or as a lip topper, giving your lips a fuller look. The sunflower seed wax and mineral pigments coat and soothe and soften lips. It retails for $20. Oh, the Pretty Vulgar uh, Powder retails for $32. I don't know, is that expensive for a translucent powder? I use the airspun one, so I don't really. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna put this on. It's probably not gonna be very pretty with. No, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, so since I'm going to work, I'm just gonna swatch it because I don't really like how it's gonna look with my eyes. But that is a very gorgeous lip gloss. Very nice, wrinkly on my skin. Um, it doesn't feel very thick or sticky. As you can see, it's, it has a little bit of a cooler sheen it so it's not gonna be very good with my makeup 
Let me just finish my face and I will uh, be back.